everybody, my name is Tracy and I'm with the Saskatoon Public Library. Saskatoon is located on Treaty 6 territory and the traditional homeland of the Métis. So I'm all alone here at JS Wood Library in the story room. So I'm going to go ahead, take off my mask. Oh, got some wild hair. <laughs> Hello, welcome to Storm Along Storytime. Today on Storm Along Storytime, we're going to be doing a song called Over in the Meadow. Uh, this is a song that's a traditional song, which means that's really old and it's been around for a long time. There's lots of different versions of it. Um, this is a counting song or rhyme featuring lots of different animals that you might find over in a meadow. And like most of the songs featured on Storm Along Storytime, you can find it in book form at the Saskatoon Public Library. So here are a couple of examples. Here is Over in the Meadow by Jane Cabrera. And here is a different version, it's called Out on the Prairie. So it's the same sort of format as the original, but it features animals that you would find over out on the prairie, like gophers and coyote and deer, things like that. But we're not going to look at any of these books really today. We're going to be singing the song. And in order to do that, we have to find out what chords we're going to be using. So let's go do that. All right, so the first chord we're going to use is C. And as always, these chord charts are really helpful in showing us which fingers we need to use and where we need to put our fingers on the fretboard or the neck of the ukulele. So for C, we use our third finger, put it on the third fret on the first string or the bottom string and it'll sound like this. So the next chord is A minor and we're only going to use one finger again, but we're going to use our second finger on the top string or the fourth string on the second fret. And it'll sound like this. The next chord we're using is F. And oh, look at that. We don't need to move our finger. It stays right there on the second fret on the top string. And then we take our first finger, put it down on the second string of the first fret. And it'll sound like this. And then the last chord we're using is G7. Oh, and again, we don't need to move our first finger. It stays where it is on the first fret on the second string. Then we move our second finger down to the third string of the second fret and our third finger down the first string of the second fret. So it's helpful to just look at the chart for that one because Sometimes when I explain it, it seems like it doesn't make sense, but it's actually a pretty easy chord. Just look at the chord chart. <laughs> it should sound like this. All right. So those are the four chords that make up the song over in the meadow. You'll probably want to practice those chords and practice moving in between those chords before you move on to playing the song. Once you're ready, let's give it a try. Okay, as far as strumming pattern goes, it really depends on where you're at um, with your ukulele playing. If you're more of a beginner, um, probably the best one to use for over in the meadow is just a simple um, down strum, just four count down strum, just one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, for the whole song. It actually works really well for this song because there are some places where there's some quick chord changes. So it can be a little more difficult song. Um, but if you use a simple strumming pattern, you can um, get through it a bit easier. Um, if you are a little more experienced, or there's a strumming pattern that you really like to use, go ahead and try it. Try something that works for you. If it doesn't sound right, try something else. There's tons of different strumming patterns. There's videos all over the internet of different strumming patterns you can try. So I'm going to do the first verse and you can play along um, with just that simple four count down strum. And then I'm going to play the rest um, mostly 
in the sewing pattern I like, which is down, down, up, up, down, up, down. So, hope that makes sense. Um, sewing can be a little complicated, and it really just takes a lot of practice, and um, you'll eventually get that muscle memory. So don't get discouraged if you're just using the down strums, it's totally fine. And like I said, it works really well for this song. So enough talking, let's just try it out. Here we go, it's over in the meadow. verses it's a super long song I only played half of it so if you want to know what the other half is of course you can look it up on the internet or or you could take out one of those books I talked about earlier from the library like Over in the Meadow by Jane Cabrera or Out on the Prairie by Cora Taylor and you could sing all sorts of other verses to this song you can have fun with it so thanks again see you next time Stay tuned for more Strum Along videos by myself and Crispy through March, April, and the first part of May. Until next time, take care and goodbye.